can't stop my happiness Cause I like the way I am And you just can't stop my knife and fork When I see a Christmas ham So if you don't like the way I look Well, I just don't give a damn Cause the world keeps spinning round and round And my heart's keeping time to the speed of sound I was lost till I heard the drums Till I found my way Cause you can't stop the beat Ever since this old world began A woman found that if she shook it She could shake up a man And so I'm gonna shake and shimmy It's the best that I can do today Cause you can't stop the motion Of the ocean or the sun in the sky You can wonder if you wanna But I never ask why And if you try to put me down I'm gonna spit in your eye and say But you can't stop the beat Okay, have a sip of water. Have a little sip of water if you need it. Ooh. I've got a question. Mm. I can get get a cold drink. Is that okay? Of course, Helen. No worries. Um, is it is it actually raining? Is it? Oh. Oh yeah, it's raining where I am. Ah. I've just noticed. Yeah, same. <laughs> I thought it was a nice day today and it's quite sunny this morning. Yeah. Okay, so, whew. I think it's quite weird when I was doing my head turns, I now have a mirror on my side, so I was seeing my face, I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> moving on, we are gonna do our spine exercise, which I think you guys have got down quite nicely with your little teapot stretches, so really lovely stuff. What I want you to focus today is I don't want to add any more movement to this one because I want you to be able to go over that each week so you know the movement and then you can start working on our accuracy that we talked about before and our intentions mm -hmm. and things. So um, we'll go through it again, but what I really want you to do now for this um, spine mm -hmm. exercise is when we do our reaches, is really see if you can reach as far as you can now. So when we do this, we're really stretching our side. We're really, especially this move, we're really trying to reach as far as we can 
to give ourselves those lovely stretches and it helps us sometimes when we're doing movements and you do the same thing again and again sometimes the first time you do it you're like yes and then sometimes when you know what you're doing you kind of lose your extension a little bit because you just are used to it it's just happened sometimes so now when we do this one especially like this movement we're really trying to stretch as high as we can our fingertips are coming down we're reaching towards the floor if you can try and go as far as you can over straight legs i'll show you from the side so we're going to roll down and we're trying to go as far as we can over our legs straight so we get a nice stretch here and then if we need to we bend our knees and get our fingertips to the floor and then we roll back up again obviously you do it facing the front but does that help to see so it really gives our legs a nice stretch and our backs a nice stretch because we kind of uh, have a nice little heavy moment over there. Um, How long is your, is your hair? How <laughs> long is my hair? Um, I don't know, this long. Roughly about here. Ah. No, so probably about here, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, name stuck. No. I like your hair, darling. Keep keep it on. Keep it on. I'll try, Ella. Thank you. Right, shall we go through the movement then? Remember, yeah, I'll, I'll move myself oh, again. By my luscious locks. Um, <laughs> so we are going. Let me just tilt this up a little bit. So once through, we're just me talking. Then we'll do it with some music. So we're going to go first of all, bending our knees. Reaching up towards the ceiling, stretching nice and high. Fingertips meet in the middle, rolling down. And your fingertips pull you down, heavy head. Bending your knees to touch the floor and then rolling back up again. So standing, lovely. Then we reach down with our fingertips, down the side, pouring our tea in. And then we stop it by pulling our elbow up. And then we pour some milk in, and this time we're really going to stretch. Imagine it splashes up over and come down. And then same on the other side, reaching down for one side, pulling your elbow up, and reaching down, really stretching up over your head and around. Lovely. Alice, do you have a question? I could see you talking but I wasn't sure if you had a question you're on mute at the moment if you are oh you're still on mute Alice let me see does that help yeah thank you I know I've got something on my on my tab ah. something uh, no worries I just wanted to make sure okay is everyone all right for us to do that with music yeah cool excellent um nothing there right. um, yes i don't i can't i see you ah we disappeared um no something on my tap head oh is it like a pop-up it's like a software up Date. Um, yeah. Mid. You have to say no, thank you. Not now. <laughs> oh, so uh, it's all right. You've just turned your um, camera off. That's all. <laughs> Don't worry, Alice. Fabulous. You're sorted. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Don't worry. Those things happen, don't they? Fabulous. Right, let's do it with some music then from the beginning. We're going to go twice through from the beginning, from this. So really see if you can do really big stretches. See if you can reach as far as you can with your arms. Lovely. Yes, everyone looks like, yes, looks wonderful. Here we go. We used to be giants. When did we stop? Just say the word and I'll be yours. You know I never forgot The hope and 
the hurt has lived inside of me. There's gold in the dirt I never took the time to see. But I knew of its words when you walk beside of me. And my hand fit in yours like a bird would find the breeze. We used to be giants. When did we stop? From the start, you'll be the one to set me free. That day in the park, when the herd would hide from me. Those eyes used to know me, it's been way too long. You are the moon and the stars, and all they gaze upon. Time won't ever move slowly, what you waiting on? You watch you waiting on. We used to be giants. When did we stop? Guys, can I just say, all of you really stretched then, and that looked lovely. Really, really nice. Perfect. Well done, everyone. Okay, moving on to our clock exercise. Are we ready for our clock today? Remember, don't worry if this, some weeks you will probably find you get it, it's fine. Some weeks it's going to be super, super tricky. It's a challenge. And that's, it's supposed to be quite tricky. So, Remember, so stand in the middle of your clock. And can you face your 12 o'clock? Lovely. Can you face your three o'clock? Very nice. So facing your three. Can you face your six o'clock? Lovely. Can you face your nine o'clock? Wonderful, and face your 12 o'clock. So remember that direction you're traveling in, because every time we do the movement and I say turn around, we're just gonna turn that direction. So if you're not sure in the movement, you know you're just gonna follow your clock around the space. <laughs> yeah, Alice, that's right, you've got it. Done it, well done. Okay, so the movement. Eight marches on the spot. Oh, and I did say last week, I'd start asking you to help you think of what's coming next to see if you remember. So if you remember what's next, let me know. Not, no pressure to remember, but sometimes you might surprise yourself. So eight marches on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does anyone know what comes next? Oh, yes, well done, people, I can see my screen. I think that was Roz and Anna, you did that at exactly the same time. Four bends of our knees. So we march on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we bend our knees, bend and up, and bend and up. Sorry, two bends of the knee, bend and up, bend and up. Does anyone know what happens next? But give me a wave if you do. I'm going to give everyone a little moment to think. It's something to do with our legs. Oh, yes. I, I, Roz, I know you know it. Don't worry, I'm seeing it. Um, Alice, I think you've got it as well. Alice, are you doing this? I can see your leg going. Is that what you were doing? Your top, yeah, Alice knows. Well done, Anna and Roz. I know you know that, knew that as well. Um, just going to give, because you guys seem to know this one, so I'm giving everyone else a little, little bit of time to have a think. So yes, four taps of our foot forward. So we go one, and two, and three, and four. Very nice. And that's all our leg stuff, so should we do that again? So four, and march us on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bends of our knees down and up. And I really like James doing a really nice squat hand as well. 
I like that, Jane. Um, and then we do our toe taps. Tap in front, tap in front, tap in front, tap in front. Two movements left. Does anyone know what we do next? Oh, well done. Something to do. Yes, Jane, that's right. I'm reaching up one side. Well done for everyone else. Well, and I'm reaching up the other side and down. And then the last move is we rise up on our tiptoes and then we turn to the side to come down. So now we should be facing our three o'clock. Lovely. So let's do it from here to six o'clock before we do it with some music. So are we ready? So march is on the spot. Here we go. March one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we bend, bend our knees and up. And we bend and up. Tapping our feet. Tap and two and three and four. Arms go up one side and down. Up the other side, up the side and down. Then we reach it up. We turn to face our six o'clock and we come down. Then we would do our marching. So marches. One, two, three. Just listen to my voice. Five, six, facing your six o'clock. So Helen, if you turn to face the back of the room, that's it. So march is on the spot. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bends of our knees. We bend and straighten. And bend and straighten. Toe taps. Tap in front, one, and two, and three, and four. Arms reaching up one side, big reach up, and down. Reach up the other side, and down. Lovely, now rising up on your tiptoes, and turn to face your nine o'clock. Yes! Well done, everyone. You've just done 12, three, and six. Woohoo! Fabulous. Shall we try that with music? Yeah. So trust yourselves. All of you. I think all of you are a little bit, when you got to six o'clock, some of you are like, oh, do I look? Do I not? You know the movement. Trust yourselves to know what you're doing. And remember, it doesn't matter if you get it right or not. It's just all about giving yourself a little challenge. Yes, Alice. My mum is, so my mum is getting... My mum is getting red out, outside in the rain. Oh no, she's still in the garden. Yeah. Oh, bless her. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Are we ready to try that with some music? Yeah, thumbs up from everyone. So we're going to go 12, straight into three o'clock. Well, we'll give a little bit of time. Straight into three o'clock. Turn to face your six o'clock. What I'll do for six o'clock is I'll come really close to the camera so you can hear me talking over the music. But I won't do it because otherwise you can't hear me. <laughs> so what I'll do is at your six o'clock, again, trust yourselves. But I'll okay. do it. Okay, I do agree with you, Lana. Fabulous, yes. I'll be there with you, don't worry. Thanks. No I'm worries. A bit confused, that's all. No, and that's absolutely fine, Helen. It's, it is confusing. And that's, that's what the purpose of this exercise is to get us a little bit muddled, but to help us. If we I, will help, I will help you guys, don't worry. Yeah, fabulous, well done, Helen. Okay, let's, ah, da, da, da. let's have, where's the music? Um, my playlist now is so long for this lesson, where all the fun dances we've done. It does take me a while sometimes to find the one I want. Ha ha, I've got it. I'll just turn music down so you can hear me talk a bit better. Okay. Let's find our space. Are we ready? Marching on the top. Here we go. March one, two.
Calm down. Are we ready? Six o'clock. So face the back, Helen. Okay, marching on the spot. Here we go. Five, six, seven, marching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend your knees down. And up. And down. And up. Nice. Toe tap. Tap your feet in front of you. One. And two. And three. And four. Very nice. Reach up one way. One arm up to the side. And down. Up your arm up, and down. Now, feet up on the tippy toes, and turn to your nine o'clock. Fabulous, and come down. Nice, everybody. Okay, I'd love to hear, how did you feel? Oh, how was that compared to last week? Was that easier this week? Was it, like, harder? Easy. Okay. Ah, Alice found it easier this week. Jane's giving me some thumbs up. About the same. About the same for Anna. How about you, Rob? I'm trying to say easy. You found it easier? I found it easy because I can remember from here. Yeah, you remembered it. Lovely. How about you, Helen? Easier um, or harder? Than harder. Lovely? Harder. That's fine. I, uh, it's really hard sometimes to... I know. You've got to trust yourself, Helen. You know what you're doing. You've yes. got the movements. I've got the movements. It's hard to you the person. Yeah, it's just hard. It's, 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 all, about, um, it's all about confidence, Helen. Trust your instincts. Yeah. Trust your instincts. Yeah. That's a nice one. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, boss. That's right, Helen. You're welcome. Yeah. We will get there. Yeah, we will get there. Let's do this, shall we? In, in your brain, it probably takes time for you to remember what comes next. So if what is in, in a direction right towards the back, yeah, you get to remember what's in here. What in your brain? The move. Yeah, yeah. Try to do about four things at once, though. I know it's quite a lot. <laughs> it's a big. Does challenge. it matter? Does it matter? <laughs> no. I can, I can do it. You can do it. Nice, Alice. You yeah. Say. It's got a question for you, Lana. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you, um, are you, um, a video, the, uh, the, uh, dance? Video this dance? Yeah. It's, so I'm, I record the whole session, so it will be on yeah. the recordings, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> and also, and oh. also my Rachel did as well. Oh, thanks. Oh, Isn't it as well? Thanks, Helen. Yeah. Sorry, I don't think Alice had finished just yet. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt her. That's all right. Don't worry. So, if you have them, Dad, can you um, send it to my support, Sharon? It should upload onto the YouTube channel. Do you have the YouTube one? Um, I have. You do have. We'll ask him. Um, that might be a question for Richard when he comes back on later. Okay. Remember to ask him once the thing gets linked, sent, can it be sent to your support? Yeah. Yeah. And also, Does that mean this one or the one, that, the shared one? Oh, I don't know. I, I think it goes on to the Blue Apple Contemporary class. Yeah. The shared one, we could only see you and not us. Ah. Christmas. Ah, could you? Oh, yeah. Are talking about the Christmas one, Alice? No. No. Is that yeah. just in practice in the week? Today. The practice. Is that, yeah, today's one, so you can practice. Yeah, yeah there we go. So, Helen, you can always do that as well if you need remembering, mm -hmm. reminding of the yeah. movement. Yeah. You can always go back. I think Alice is asking if the video gets uploaded to YouTube, you can always go back and have a watch. Uh, no, no, I've got YouTube as well. You do? Oh. I've got a question for Alice. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think what the question was now. Oh, what was that? Ah, <laughs> uh, what was the question? Oh, well, I forgot what well, Shall we um, move on then to the next dance? And if you remember your question, Rose, after the swing dance, you can ask it. Is that all right? Yeah, try and remember it. Yeah. I'll give you a little bit to remember. I will tell you. Let's do it.
Okay, sorry, I cut someone off halfway through talking then. Hope that's okay. Right, we're gonna move on because we only have an hour together. So I wanna make the most of the time. Um, so swing exercise, last week that looked really good and we did it on the other side, didn't we? So let's just find, so we have, um, which one, which song is it please? Um, okay, but we'll have this one. So we have this hand to start with today. Oh, do you know? We throw, yeah, we'll do this hand today. So we throw four times with our hand. We throw one, throw two, throw three, throw four. Then we have our gallop. We gallop on the spot if you're like me and you don't have too much space to go. And then we do a big turn in the space, back to face the front. And because we galloped in this direction, we're going to do our balance in this direction. Ooh. I have to be careful about that. So we reach one, two, three, four. And this is our balance of our in, out, over the top. Very nice. So just so you can see my legs, remember this one is, you can get your foot on the floor if you're a bit wobbly today, or you can take it off and you can go in, pop it down, and then go over the top. If you're feeling really super balanced today, you can keep it off the whole time. And you go in, keep it off, then go over the top. Would you like to learn a little bit extra for this dance just to finish it off? So extra, we've gone over the top. You're gonna step back with your leg that's the closest to your computer or your tablet. And you're gonna wrap your arms around your body. So you've got to open up to face me, very nice. Now, two options again, it depends how you're feeling today. You, we're going to, so we've gone over the top, you have a wrap where you pull backwards and then you can spin around and come back. So that's option one, you do a spin and your arm comes over your head and comes down. Option two, if you're feeling full of energy today, you can also do a little jump with your spin. So you're, whoo, ha-ha. It's like you're trying to do a full turn in the air. Again, that's only if you're feeling super strong and balanced today. If you're feeling not that, not that balanced, just go with a nice big spin on the floor is absolutely fine. But if you want to try and do a turny jump, you may. I'll leave that up to you. I'll do the floor spin, my feet with my feet on the floor. And then if you choose to do the jump, you can. And then it'll be the same on the other side. Should we go the other side? So we start off with this arm. So we're gonna start with this arm first. Are we ready? So four big swing throw, one, and two, and three, and four. Then a big gallop, and a big turn in the space. Lovely, now reaching up towards this side, reaching one, two, three, four. Then we go in, out, over the top. Lovely, then you take a step back to have a big wrap around your body. And then you have a lovely spin around. Very nice, everyone. Any questions on that movement or anything we just learned? No, we're good? Fabulous. Right, so shall we try that with some music? Some music. Um, let me just find. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let me just find the song. Sorry. Here we go. Are we ready? Is it play through the. This 
Excellent. Have a sip of water and then we'll move on to our choreography section, our creative section. Do you remember the question? Do you remember your question, Rose? You can ask Alice here. Okay, I want to have a question, Alice. I remember now. How is KTA doing? Yes, Alice. Okay, I'm here. So, um, how is KTA doing? Um, she's had her mumps. Oh, no, so that's good. Um, I don't know on that question. Oh, okay. I, I can't, I can't contact her at the moment. No, you can't. Oh, okay. Oh, I just wonder how she was, that's all. Yeah, she's okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are we ready for the next stage? So I'm going to tell you what we're going to get up to today. Sorry, I'm Ros, I'm just going to mute you a second. Um, so last week we created movement with a... Um, by chance, didn't we? So we picked a body part, we picked an action, we rolled the dice, and then we had to make up a movement with our action and our body part, which were quite funny. Some of them were quite, poor Helen having to get both her ankles really high up, and poor Alice having to get her tummy moving in a slow position. It's not much, not much movement you can do with your tummy, but you did wonderful, really lovely moves. So what we're gonna do today, lovely Helen, no worries. Um, so then what we're going to do today is we're going to take the movement that we all made up together, if we can remember it. So it was this one, the slow and uh, with the turn out, and then this one with our snaky head, two, three, four. Then there was something else. So we're just going to add those two with the movements we created next week. What our chance is going to be today is I've picked six songs which, so I've tried to pick songs that don't have words to them as much, or they're different feet, so they're different feelings. Some of them are slow, some of them are fast, some of them have more of a, a different feel, they have different feels to them really. And we're gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice and we're gonna see, try all the movement with each different song to see how it affects the movement. And just for a bit of fun. Because what we're going to try today, and it's then you're going to tell me which song you think matches best with the movement. So then we're all going to vote at the end of which one we think works best. Does that make sense? So, with your guys' help, let's see if we can remember. So we just need to remember the movements we all made up together. So there was one, because I remember Alice's head, I remember Jane zigzagging arms. And I'm trying to remember who, every, what, piecing everyone's of those together. And then remembering your moves last week. Rose is doing her arms. So we'll remember all of them from last week as well. And if you can't remember, I, I wrote down all of your words to help. So let's do this one first. So this one, I really remember up here, we had our, oh, this was quick, wasn't it? Our quick arm out to the side and our turning out was move number one then we had our arm slowly coming Hello, up. I know. me and lamb's going your arm's going my arm right. sorry that's all right i can't hear it helen don't worry because you're on mute we can't hear it so you're I not know, sorry i took it off now fabulous no okay. worries sorry about that that's all right <laughs> so uh -oh. move number two is slow arms up. 
And then Alice's lovely head wiggle out. Two, three, and four. Does anyone else remember any of the other moves we created here? So that rolls, that's your own one. Or if we can't remember, shall we go to your individual movements we learned last week? So we have those two movements there, head wiggle out. I remember, actually, no, let's add the third one on because I do remember it. It was a turn to the back. And then I think it was Jane zigzagging arms out. I think we spun round to the back with our, um, what did we do with our arms? It was a moderate turn to the back. And I think our arms were in front of us this time because we had side, we had up. So I think you turn to the back of your space and you push your arms in front. And then we have Jane zigzaggy arms to turn you back to the front. And then we're gonna go in the order that people are on my screen for our movements. So Alice's, actually my one first. I remember, so my move was, um, I had my whole head moving in a moderate speed. So I had, I bent my knees slightly and I oops, drew a big circle with my head and come up. So Alice is number two. Alice, you were, had your belly button moving slowly. So your tummy, tummy moving slowly. Did you, you did a, a big slow circle, didn't you? All the way around, I believe. Was that right, Alice? Thumbs up from Alice, fabulous. Helen had both ankles at a high level. And I think what Helen did, you went up on your tiptoes and you walked in a circle. And you came down, was that right, Helen? Yeah, fabulous, thank you. Jane then had her whole head in lines. Was that right? Whole head in lines. Do you remember what your one was, Jane? I think I remember. Was it side to side for four times? Two, three, four, and then up and down four times. Yes. Give me a thumbs up. That right, Jane. Fabulous. Um, and then Roz, you've already done this, but we'll remind everyone of what your one's your is both both shoulders high level. And she picked her shoulders up to her ears and her arms come out, you know, and she moved them one side to the other. Was that right, Roz? Yes, fabulous. And then Anna, you had um, both hips moving slowly. So if I remember you did, oh, you did stepping one side, stepping the other side, and then she pushed them back slowly, three, like a half circle. Is that right, Anna? Yeah, fabulous. Should we go from the beginning then, because that's a lot. And then I'm going to roll the dice, pick a song, and then we've got, we've got six different versions of songs with different tempos and speeds to try to see which one we like the best. So are we ready? So from the beginning, we have, we face this way um, to the side to our three o'clock. And then we go quickly one, and then we do a spin down to face the front. Then we're going on the diagonal with our arms up nice and, that's it, lovely. And then we have Alice's lovely silky head, three and four. Then we're gonna turn to face the back with our arms pointing forward. Turn to the back, turn to our six o'clock. And then we're gonna do our lovely diagonal arms back around to the middle. To fake well, to fake back to the front, back to 12 o'clock. Then we have our circle of Alana circle of the head all the way round and up. Alice's big tummy circle. Lovely. Then we have Helen's rising up on our tiptoes, walking round and down. Then we had James looking side for one, two, three, four, then up and down. One, two, three, four. Roger's shoulders up and around. And then Anna's stepping to the side with our hip, slowly out, stepping to the side, slowly out. And then a big circle back to the front. Nice. Okay, ready for some 
die, dice rolling. So this is all part of the fun again, because the songs are so different. These movements will either work really well with a song or they won't work at all. But we've got to give them all a try, see what happens. So our chance choreography again. Get a dice out, can you? See, I'm ready. So I've got a list in order. I'm just going to see, are we ready? <laughs> so number six is first. So that is, I don't know if you're going to know all these songs, but let's see. So number six on my playlist is, we're going to give it a try. Um, <laughs> this is a fun one. It's called Coffee in the Pot by Supergrass. Um, I hope you enjoy this song because I very much enjoy it as well. Are we ready? So give this a try. So find your middle positions. So we're going to go from this bit. Shoop, turn. All the way through. Give it a go. Are we ready? Right, lovely. We'll talk about them all at the end. So we've only got less than five minutes left. Yes, yeah. Yes. I'm not so about the me about that me about the me. It's a, about the, the music. Yeah. No worries. That's why we're going to try some other ones and see. And then mm. once you heard all six of them, then we'll sit, we'll chat about them if that's okay. Yeah. Fabulous. It's all a bit silly though, this one, so don't worry. So number, let's have a look, what number's next? Oh, number five. Are you ready? So this one is en a song from Enya. Are we ready? Lovely, very different tempo that one. Okay, I think we've got time 
for one more today. So let's see what our dice says we're going to do. Oh, we've done that one already. Oh, disappeared. Number two. Ooh, this is an upbeat one as well. Are we ready? Okay. That's the beginning. Okay, we only have three minutes left, so we won't have time to do any more. So tell me your thoughts on those songs. No. <laughs> Alice didn't like any of them. That's no problem, Alice. Did they not fit with the movement or was it just... Um, I think not with the other people, not with the movement. Not with the movement. How? What did everyone else feel? About uh, wonderful, wonderful. I thought the first ones were easier. Yeah, I think the ones were harder. Yeah. Yeah. The first. Playing music harder. The last one was quick, wasn't it? So that it was. was harder. So it, we wouldn't think that the the movement suits going super quick, do would we? Oh no, darling. Sorry, no. Lila. No, it's all right. So Anna said that the first two fitted better than the last one. Um. What about Jane or Roz or Helen? What are your thoughts? Because Alice and Helen and um, Alice and Anna have shared. So I'm going to come to each of you. So Jane, what did you think? I like the head movements. They fitted well. The hips. And did which one music choices did they fit better with? Did you find uh, number six? I think. Number six, so the first one. Yes. Found that one. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Jane. How about you, Roz? Uh, right. Um, <coughs> oh, Which music um, did you find fitted the best? Did any of them fit? Um, I didn't think any of them really worked. Um, I don't first. think the second one or the third one, but I think for me it has to be the first one. Hmm. Very nice. And how about you, Helen? Oh, I'm thinking the fourth one. <laughs> Helen, we didn't do the four. You won to come. <laughs> the we did three. We did the first number three. three. Number three, isn't it? That one, yeah. Number three. The one we just did, did you find that the most enjoyable? Yeah, yeah. You like the music there. I yeah. do agree with you, actually. I think the first one fitted had different changes in tempo so some of the movement was quick but it, so it had two sometimes you find this with movement music sorry they had two so some the second song was very slow all the way through the yeah. third song was just fast the first song had moments you could pick up it quickly and then it had a little slow background as well to it so I that's what I like about the first one I, I don't mind I don't mind the smooth one darling I don't mind <laughs> that at all <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, so it's interesting, isn't it? Because when yeah. you make movement <coughs> without music, it's hard then to put it to something. Yeah. So yeah. You make the movement. I, I, much, I think the fourth one is much, much better. The fourth one will be much better. Yeah, I reckon so as well. <laughs> oh, the first one, because you got a bit mix between fast and slow. It's in between it's the, like the, 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 yeah, the yeah. and the right place. And they kind of fitted for the fast fly. So we've been building up 
the last few weeks about creating movement but without any music to it. So I wanted to show us today how it how that happens when you find some movement and you just plonk it on different songs, how that changes. So yeah, it's a new thing, isn't it, really? Yeah. Next week, shall I find us a nice song that we can then take all of the tools of we can yeah. use about creating movement and we can use yeah. it for a song and create movement that works to that song. Does that yeah. sound good? Okay. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Well done, everybody. Super job mm. today. Fantastic. Yeah. I haven't got the t shirt yet, but I'm just... I'll get one already. Oh, uh, Alice had a question for you because mm -hmm. she said it would be useful to have this recording for one of our exercises to look back and say, is it sent to your support worker? Yeah. So I've, I've got a support worker as well. Yeah. Called, her name called Jane. Yeah. Yeah. Said at the beginning that actually they watch the recordings. So oh, I'm brilliant. Sure. That's yeah. right then. So it is worth it. That's good. Yeah. Yes. And just, yes. Hi, yes. Helen. Just before you finish up, would you make me the, the host again? Because just in case Alice wants a word about um, string dance. So if you stick around, Alice. Yeah, no worries. I will make you host. Um, and then everybody else, you may leave the room. Goodbye. Have a Smash lovely day. Have a nice time, Lana. Take care, guys. I need your t-shirt. Good night, Bye. Enjoy your time. Bye. 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 Bye.